Hey hockey player, Coach Garner here from HockeyTraining.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you're going to reach your hockey potential. Now, getting the best that you can possibly get at in this sport is something we're all after. It's why you're here right now. It's why you always tune in to the hockey training content. And Kevin and I put out tons of content so that you guys can learn more in order to earn more from all of your efforts in your dry land training. We've got so many podcasts, articles, and videos, and we've put out so much information, workouts, and programs to the hockey training community so that you guys can get better but we're always trying to wrap our head around, okay, now how do we help these hockey players truly reach their hockey potential? And then it dawned on me. It's something that I always say to my professional athletes, all the hockey players out there that are very serious about taking their game to the next level. Knowledge isn't power. Only applied knowledge is power. The key is in the application of all of the content that we put out. That is what's going to get you that magical hockey training result that's going to allow you to live up to your hockey training potential and ultimately reach your hockey dreams. But first, we have to assess your effort because that's not a conversation I can have with you. That's not a conversation your parents, your brothers, your sister, your friends, your teammates, your coach, that's not a conversation anybody can have with you because that is only a conversation that you can have with yourself. Only you know how much you truly put into today's workout. Only you know how much you truly put in to this past week's practices and games. Did you have 5% more? Did you have 10% more? Did you have 1% more? Only you truly know that question. And that is really at the root of what I'm trying to get at when I say applied knowledge. Having a perfect hockey training system is not going to get you the perfect results until you put in the perfect amount of effort into your programming. So effort, among anything else, matters the most. And you've got to decide first and foremost to yourself, I am committed to reaching my hockey potential. And once you've made that commitment, we have to start looking at the comparison. What is making people massively successful, not just in hockey, but in all avenues of life? If you're looking at the sciences, if you're looking at major Fortune 500 businesses, if you're looking at professional athletes, if you're looking anywhere, what is a common denominator that makes these people massively successful? It's their schedule their schedule, they are somebody who has a plan of action in order to get something done, rather than try and just wings it. That, that's something that I really learned from viewing the military. The military, they're a very proud group, they're a very proud organization. Why? Because they never have to get ready. They stay ready. And why do they stay ready? because they are among the most schedule-oriented people that live on this planet today. Every, you always hear that, right? Oh, 500, we do this. Oh, 700, we do this. That, oh, 900. That every single minute of their day is maxim maximized for productivity. And that's a word that I want you to kind of redefine in your brain when you are getting serious about reaching your hockey potential, because a lot of hockey players out there mistake busyness for productivity. Busyness is you remaining active. Productivity is you doing the things that you need to do in order to take one step forward and really take your entire game to the next level. Busyness is people that are scatterbrained, usually because they don't have a schedule. Yet productivity, are those are the people that year after year after year, month after month, even week after week, are improving their hockey game and performance and their skills and their, their performance and their dryland training. They're consistently improving because they have a plan of action every single day. Now, what do you need to balance when it comes to that plan of action? You need to balance your energy and you need to balance your time. Now, Robin Sharma, he once had a fantastic quote that I'll probably never forget. He said, don't tell me your goals, show me your schedule. And I thought that was so powerful. Don't tell me your goals, show me your schedule. Because there's a lot of people out there who pay lip, lip service 
to certain dreams and aspirations that they have, but then when you look at their schedule, they do nothing but the most comfortable things. A lot of times when we want to achieve something, we actually have to move towards discomfort in order to get through that challenge and therefore acquire a new strength. Anytime you move through a challenge, you're going to acquire a new strength, and that new strength is going to be speed, agility, edge work, improved mobility, improved puck control, harder to knock off the puck, harder shot power, you name it. All of those come from discomfort because you have to force biology to respond. It's not just going to say, oh, okay, I'll become a better hockey player even though you're doing easy workouts. It just simply doesn't work that way. So don't tell me your goals. Show me your schedule. I should be able to look at your schedule and say, wow, this is a person who really wants to reach their hockey potential. On the other side, if I look at your schedule, or better yet, if you look at your schedule, would you be able to tell that hockey is something that is extremely important to you? Right now, I'm talking to people who aren't necessarily just play hockey for recreation. I'm talking about the people who think hockey is life, who don't just think hockey is life. They know hockey is life. They are dedicated to it. They are passionate about it. And when you look at their schedule, oh, 500, we do this. Oh, 700, we do. It's all there. It's all planned out. And they've got that perfect balance of energy management and time management. Time management doesn't mean you're going to be productive. Time management is still something that's utilized by the busy people and not necessarily by the productive people because truly productive people, they balance energy management with time management. Now, what does that really mean? Well, I'm, I'm gonna break some news to you right now. The hardest worker in the room, unfortunately, does not always get the best results. That's correct. The hardest worker does not always get the best results. Why? because it's the person who's willing to put the greatest amount of effort into the most intelligent areas for hockey training performance who's going to get the best result. What does that mean? No matter how hard you train on a bad training program, you're going to get bad results. Uh, right now, I am in Canada and winter is coming. If I wanna go down to Florida for the winter, no matter how hard I travel north, I'm not going to make it down to Florida for the winter because I'm putting all of my hard effort into the wrong areas to get to the destination that I want to go to. That's how we have to start creating your vision. That's why we got to start setting goals. Create a destination for yourself and then design and live a life intentionally that gets you to that destination in the fastest possible way that you can. Now, how do we do this? You can only do it with clarity. Clarity on your goal setting, clarity on your vision, and clarity that you're willing to put the correct amount of effort to reach your hockey potential is what's going to marry energy management with time management. Time management has your entire day broken down, but energy management ensures that you're putting all of this passion and energy into the correct places to get the best possible hockey training result. Because if you take two hockey players of equal ability, one is running a real hockey training program and the other is trying to wing it, this hockey player running the real program will beat this hockey player 10 times out of 10. Why? Because consistency beats intensity every single time. Someone on a real program remaining consistent with it because of their time management and because they're putting their energy into real hockey training methodology, they are going to beat this other hockey player no matter how intense this hockey player is. They could work out so incredibly hard, but you know what? They're in the world of busyness. It's a lot like trying to be on a treadmill. You're working really hard, but you're not really going anywhere, are you? That's what busyness is. I don't want busy for you. I want productivity for you. You see, when we're talking about reaching your hockey potential, we a lot of people think it's just one secret workout away, one secret mobility drill away, one secret uh, um, weekly uh, whatever you're gonna do, mental ritual away. Although those are a part of it, the only thing that's gonna allow you to get to your hockey potential is ultimately consistency. Consistency every single day getting better and better and better and better over time because one workout doesn't make a good hockey player. 
one week of training doesn't make a good hockey player. One week of good dieting doesn't make a good hockey player. It's the athlete who's willing to be consistent over the long term. And you're only ever going to be able to be consistent when you have the marriage of time management and energy management that is backed up by the clarity of knowing your exact goals, what you need to do, and exactly how you need to do it to get to your destination. Hockey potential is not about one workout or even one program. It's about your everyday life. Hockey Potential is a 24 hour a day, seven day per week job. Don't tell me your goals, show me your schedule. So when we're combining all of this stuff together to create a vision that's going to allow you to achieve your hockey dreams, now is the time where we create separations. There are hockey dreamers out there and there are hockey action takers out there. The dreamer is the athlete who wants to be in the NHL and makes many, many, many wild and big shoot for the moon goals for themselves. But then when you look at their schedule, it doesn't reflect what they're saying. The video is not matching the audio. The audio is telling you that they want to do all these things, but the video of their actual life is demonstrating something very differently. And you know what? This is okay. This is where a lot of people live and breathe in because hockey is very fun, it's very recreational, it's something that they're doing to, uh, as a stress-free uh, way in which to approach it. That, that's, there's, that's a great way to approach it. It is, hockey is supposed to be fun, right? But there is a flip side of the coin to where hockey is fun, hockey is stress-free, but hockey is also something that they want to be the best in. And that was what separates a dreamer from an action taker. An action taker is one where the audio matches the video. They tell you their goals, but then they can show you their schedule of energy and time management and the clarity at which they are approaching it. You know, it's actually scientifically proven that if you have a priority for the day, that it is so much more likely to get done than if you don't. And you also know that it is scientifically proven that if you have a to-do list, it is so much more likely to get done than if you don't have a to-do list. This is why people in the military are so effective at accomplishing goals and staying ready. And this is what I want to adopt into your life right now. Hockey potential is not one mobility drill away. Your hockey potential is every day. It's one day away, one more, one more step at a time, okay? Action taker. If you're watching this video right now, you're pre-qualified as an action taker. You follow the training and the, the advice that we offer here at Hockey Training, you are an action taker and you're ready to reach your hockey potential. And that's why right now I have a major announcement for people just like you. Kevin and I, after years of working with tens of thousands of hockey players, have put our brains together and said, what is going to allow people to truly reach their potential in this sport? And we came out with the Hockey Performance Kit. The Hockey Performance Kit is now live, and that is the key that's going to unlock your hockey potential in this sport. Why? Because it includes... First and foremost, a hockey performance planner. We're going to prioritize your goal, which is scientifically proven that is way more likely to get done. We're going to create to-do lists. We're going to schedule our day each and every single day because you're only going to get to a destination if you have a plan. It's like the old saying goes, right? If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Well, no, you do know where you're going. You want to make it to the next level in this sport. So you need to make a plan in order to get there in a straight line way. And that's what the Hockey Performance Planner is there for. But the Hockey Performance Kit includes so much more than that. It includes posters for hockey yoga poses, posters for hip opener routine so you can improve your edge work. It includes so much more for the energy management side of the equation. We have the mobility work, the training, the never before seen cutting edge protocols in the hockey performance magazine that you can't find anywhere else. This stuff isn't available anywhere else because it's action taker only, period. So if you want to have the tools to maximize your time management and the tools to maximize your energy management so that you can reach your hockey potential, go to hockeytraining.com slash HPK. The HPK stands for Hockey Performance Kit. That's hockeytraining.com slash HPK. And I'll see you action takers on the other side.